A very good evening and welcome to the RSC for tonight's SSC Electricity Premier Division meeting of Waterford FC and Bohemians. It's Ray Scott alongside Matt Keane for an intriguing game. And he has it a third time. Back out to the right hand side. Connolly now. The overlap for Miller. Still not cleared. And then eventually the shot from Patrick Kirk. Yeah, not the greatest uh, defending in the world uh, there from a Warwick point of view. It was uh, Dara Power, a little bit of a, a, a swipe at the ball, but I can, I can tell you, I can tell you he was unable to uh, do anything with the uh, opportunity that came to. Last minute goal from Danny Grant on the bench this evening. Still getting minutes into his legs. Yeah, he's a good player to have on the bench if things are not going their way for Bohemians. Jordan Flores manages to get the ball in. Oh, cleared away, and then here comes the shot into the side netting. Again, a, another clearance. It was Clark, who's very, very conspicuous with those orange boots. Yeah, I think Clark would be disappointed. He didn't uh, hit the target and make Sam Sargent uh, work. All he did was uh, hit the side netting. Yeah, he started at Shamrock Rovers. He came through their under 17 and had the reasonably good chance for uh, Bohemians. Uh, as I said, he should have made that uh, Sergeant work, but only succeeded in hitting the side netting. Nice flick on now behind an opportunity for Patterson. Patterson gets the breakthrough and the opening goal for Waterford. A long kick out. We talked about how Waterford have been caught on those occasions. Paul Jammon got a little flick into space for Patterson, and Patterson makes no mistake. Yeah, and the Reynolds of Bohemians won't be happy with that goal, conceding a goal like that. Just a long ball, a little touch of Mammon and Christy Patterson uh, did the rest. Great start for Wolver. Terrible start for Bohemians. Here it comes, just a long kick out from uh, Sam Sargent. A little stick on there from Paul Ammon and then Christy Patterson giving the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever. 1 0 after nine minutes. Third goal for Patterson this season. So, yeah, he's been on, in a bit of form here. In fairness to him. So, Waterford now here. Ball again out to the right. Behind the defender again, Patrick Kirk. It's fallen for Patterson. Patterson now. Gives it square for Connor Parsons. He tried uh, to control it. Still not cleared though. And Waterford have a back row. And McDonald, a little flick through again. A little flick on from Patterson. And just over the crossbar. And certainly, Christy Patterson has been in fine form in these opening 10 minutes. Yeah, lovely move there from Ryan Waterford. Lovely uh, flick on there by Ron McDonald. Beautiful ball. And the back header then. The back header from uh, Patterson just going over the crossbar. Super move by Waterford. Showed a little bit too much of it, but he managed to get the pass away to Clark. Still going forward, and Dara Power thought he stood his ground. That's what he's claiming to the referee, and it's a free kick in a dangerous position now for Waterford to defend. That uh, very much so. Any frail change, that Waterford change had, a few things. He would have known. Here comes a, oh, it takes a deflection and into the back of the net. And uh, it's Dale Rooney who will claim that goal. The sides are level here. It did take a deflection. Uh, Sam Sargent dived a little bit in vain. Yeah, they really hit it very, very well indeed, but it took a, a, a dreadful deflection and it uh, wrong footed. Sam Sargent in the uh, ward for goal. We, we mentioned it was a, a free and a dangerous, a dangerous position. You see, ball came in. I think it took a deflection off the wall, actually. So. Dale Rooney gets the equaliser. Yeah, it, it took a slight deflection and uh, it, it, it just put the ball a bit too high uh, for Sam Sargent, the Warford goalkeeper. So the sides level after 31 minutes, which was the time in the game at Dalyman Park where oh, he, the visitors. The clock ticks inside the final three minutes. Here comes the corner kick, lofted away, ball up in the air, drops down, an opportunity. And uh, Clark just scoops it over the ball, over the bar. But, uh, yeah, he scooped it over from the six yards uh, line, Ray. If you had to be, say, nine, ten yards out, he would have scored. He was just too close to the goal. Yeah, it, uh, it was up in the air from Flores. Bounce, ball bounces, and he was falling backwards as well. Nice yeah, a completely different type of player. Nice one, too, between Dara Power and Patterson. Tries to slip it in field for Rowan McDonald or uh, Ben McCormick, actually. 
ball is picked up by Niall O'Keefe. Tries to put the ball in underneath the tip, underneath the top. Uh, I think he was trying to cross the ball, but he very nearly cut out Katsper Karotska at yeah. uh, the back post. He almost made a dramatic it entrance been, into the game. It would have been a magnificent second goal, wouldn't it, of his career? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think, he was trying the, I think he was trying the outswinger, but it not could too be a, a superb piece of magic from either team, or as you said, it could be a mistake that could prove to be a winner. Let's hope it's a bit of magic. Oh, nice turn from Connor Parsons. Is this the bit of magic? The shot is blocked by Mills. Still not clear, though. Straight across the area. Oh, and Bring yes. the ball from Patterson. And that's where we're saying Patterson has to see the ball more often. And he got that ball brilliantly into the six yards box. And there was Paul Jammond. Made no mistake for close range. Ninth goal of the season. Or would you believe his fourth in two games? <laughs> yeah, fantastic. What a signing he has been for Warford. But that's where we're saying that Warford had to win this game. They had to get the white players in. And Patterson proved it with his goal in the first half. He did got very little service after that goal, but he proved it again that time when he got the, the ball. He whipped that ball into the six-yard box, and Paul Jammond made no mistake whatsoever inside the six-yard box. And that's what you're looking for from the wide players, as you said, isn't it? It's like, get that ball. So. Yeah, but no matter what league or what, what grade you're playing in, if you get the ball out wide, it cause difficulty. It will cause problems. I mean, Paul Jammond got in between two defenders there uh, to finish that. The place. Oh, 100 percent. With, with the free kick. Oh, header from Radkowski across the penalty area. Still not cleared though. Falls for Horton. Going to try the shot. Ball and he takes a deflection. And it'll be Waterford's second corner of the half. Well, it's good from a Warwick point of view. They're still pressing for that third goal. You alluded to they were wild back uh, Ray, when they go back into their shell again, but they're not. They're really taking the game to balls now. Years of age, uh, born in Nove Targ in Poland. So now Patterson in a bit of space. Patterson going to run at the t at the defence. Tries to put the ball across the area. Oh, Paul Jammond! Oh, it took a deflection. Well, in fact, it didn't actually. It just didn't connect with it. I thought it had deflected off a defender, but uh, it goes straight out of play. Yeah, the two lads, uh, the two players, same lads, combining again that time. Patterson and uh, Paul Jammond. Patterson is really dangerous when he gets that ball out on the uh, right flank. So, long. Then, balls go back. Flores. Mills puts the ball into that area. Straight into the arms of Sam Sargent. And he'll be happy and thankful for that. Played well tonight, Sam Sargent. Two goalkeepers have been excellent tonight. They haven't exactly been overworked, it has to be said, but anything they've been asked to do with crosses saves they've done very, very well indeed. I got a built up there. 30 seconds or so remaining here at the RSC. The they, picked up, they picked up some yellow cards here tonight, Bohemians. Yeah. Sam Sargent's uh, not uh, too concerned. So... Just seconds remaining here at the RSC. Alan Patchell still hasn't looked at his watch. Uh, Rooney puts, or sorry, uh, Sargent puts the ball out of play. This could be last chance saloon. And that is the last action. And the crowd rise to their feet. So, all over here at uh, the Regional Sports Centre, it's finished. Waterford FC 2, Bohemians 1.